Good morning, ladies. And maybe one guy, I think. One gent. Um, just touching base. That was like a really good doctor's appointment I had today. Thumbs up on that one. Um, I might normal follow-up with my neurologist. With my out-of-bed and yesterday hair. So pathetic. And no makeup. So, he doesn't care what I look like had my balance test and I'm still 80 to 90 years old in balance but I knew that um, but he took me off my blood pressure medicine for a trial we'll see I have to keep a blood pressure log for two weeks and see how it goes because my last because I've had several um, doctor's appointments late, lately oh, I don't know which direction you're gonna go buddy several doctor's appointments lately um, just with my GYN and family practitioner, my lab work, all of those kind of routine things lately. And my, you know, I, I think I told you guys my cholesterol had gotten so phenomenally good. Um, uh, I mean, he was like, I've never seen cholesterol this good, but I was taking a second cholesterol medicine to control my cholesterol. So he took me off of the additional uh, a couple weeks ago and we'll follow up in three months see if my blood pressures you know at least normal and not bad um, with the with the one medication but uh, my blood pressure has been running like 82 over 57 60 in the 80s low 80s to 60 something and um, my lips are so dry Anyways, um, it's been running consistent. And she couldn't even get my pulse today. I was like, I swear I'm alive. She's like, I know. If I, if you weren't, we'd both have a problem here. And um, anyways, uh, she had to listen to my heart to do my pulse and all. And uh, it was like 62 or something like that. So everything's going good, but he said, you know, I don't want to lower your blood pressure medicine. I take like 160 of Diavan and um, I have for years and years and years and years. And my, my father and mother both have taken high blood pressure medicine for years and years and years. And um, he said, I want you to quit taking it. I was like, you don't want me to lower it? You know, I get all paranoid. But um, not that I don't want to be off medication, but I didn't think I'd ever be off of blood pressure medicine. I'm still not officially officially but he's like no I want you to stop taking it all together so we dropped my Diavan I'm so excited about that uh, so that's two medications in the last 30 days that are gone really the only thing I've got left now is my MS medications so I take Baclofen and Tramadol daily for pain muscle spasms, spasticity. Um, I do take a baby aspirin because I have the stents and all. Um, you know, just one baby aspirin. And I take um, Carvedilol, which is uh, a Coreg. Carvedilol is the generic for um, regulating my heartbeat rhythm um, because I do have some issues with that. So my cardiologist has me on that. So it's now just my Carvedilol one cholesterol medication, Crestor, um, and my regular MS injections. I take uh, interferon three times a week, uh, injections, uh, which is why I think um, HCG injections were such a breeze for me, because you don't even feel it, and I guess I'm not even paranoid at all. When some people are like, I can't do injections, I'm like, they're a piece of cake. Because my rebif injections, let me tell you, whew, needle's no bigger, but that medication burns, burns. I have pulled the needle out so many times as it started burning, just yanked it out real quick and not given, and the dose just goes flying across the room and you waste it, but um, you have to do it again, which is not good because it's like $3,500 a month for MS injections. Granted, there's a lot of assistance with MS injections, and you don't have to make, 
you can still make a good bit of money and they still help with that because I don't know anybody can afford $3,500 a month. Some of them are five grand a month. But anyways, that stuff burns the whole time it's going in and you rotate from your rear to rear, your stomach, stomach, um, arm, arm, thighs, and it's intramuscular and oh, uh, it burns. But I've kind of gotten used to it. I like it when somebody else does it for me because I don't have the option of pulling it out. It's like a reflex sometimes. But anyways, I know two days in a row I'm touching base about really nothing, but I was kind of excited that we'll see in two weeks if, um, if I can be off blood pressure medicine. That just amazes me. So I'm heading to vitamin shop now to get me some Quest bars. I realized I was out and I so thoroughly enjoy the vanilla crunch whatever vanilla crunch quest bar somebody mentioned it in the vlog poof I'm off to the store the power of suggestion and uh, that's it maybe Michael vlog with me again to or not again but maybe he'll vlog with me tonight he was down another pound so I think he was at 179.6 so he's in the 70s which I didn't really see him this morning, but I'm sure he's thoroughly stoked. Um, I haven't counted out how many injections he's got left, but he can do as many as he wants because I have people that I help that, um, boy, I am all over the place today. Um, people that I help out that only want to do 30 days. And they don't care about the other 10 days worth of injections, so he's got an extra supplemental amount if he wants to do them. But, Goodbye for, for real this time. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye.